Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La, La Land. We are celebrating the premiere of Hashtag Victor and Valentino on the Cartoon Network Woo! with the show <laughs> Ryan Peterson himself. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you guys so much. I'm so happy to be here and thank you for having me. So tell us about the show. All right, so Victor and Valentino is about bookish, smartish Valentino, myself, my character on this little pin here, <laughs> oh the red-shirted one, um, and my half-brother, Victor, who's street smart and brash and is usually the one who starts the adventures and drags me along with him. And we're staying with their grandmother in a little town called Monte Macabre. Now it seems like a regular, ordinary town, but in reality, it's full of folklore, Mesoamerican mythology, and supernatural beings that we deal with episode to episode. It's wow. gonna be a wild ride. Just like real life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure. So how did you become an actor, a professional in voiceover work? What was your journey in that? Well, actually, about 10 years ago, I was watching TV. I can't remember if it was Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. It was one of the two, and I looked at my mom and I said, Mom, I want to be a voice on TV. Wow. Really? Voiceover is actually how I wanted to get into the industry. And from there, I met an agent, met my voiceover agent, just started going at it. Eventually got my first job, Dive Ollie Dive, doing a dub for a PBS show. And about eight years later, now at a decade of voice acting, I booked Victor and Valentino. So what is it that you love about him? Well, I'm very much like him. I love reading books. He has a coin collection. I have a coin collection. <laughs> I like taking pictures. He loves taking pictures. Usually of scenery. <laughs> Selfies, we're both working on that. <laughs> That's adorable. What kind of books do you like to read? I, I like adventure books and sci-fi adventure books. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved the Harry Potter series growing up. Uh, first series like that was probably the Magic Treehouse series, now that I'm remembering it. That was a good one, too. You're a techie. You do the drums? Oh, I do play the drums. I've wow. been playing the drums for six years. Wow, you're super rock and roll. <laughs> I love playing the drums. Nice. It's so much fun. Uh, cartoons are great. You know, I, you know, I think that all of us, obviously, have grown up on cartoons and fantasy and all of that. What is, what is the real takeaway for you? What is it just to have an adventure in life, or is there some kind of, um, what's your why in what you do? You know, when I started doing voiceover, and especially when I got on Victor and Valentino, I met, like you said, all the voice actors who did all the voices for everything I ever played, watched growing up. And one day, I want to make kids smile like they did for me. Wow. So they're like heroes to me. And Someday I want to be a hero to someone else, maybe inspire them to follow their dreams as well. I love that line. I hate to break it to you, babe, but I think you're already a hero. <laughs> you're already doing that on so the much. Cartoon Network with hashtag Victor and Valentino. That, that is so exciting. I'm so proud. Tell everyone where they can tune in and find and follow your personal journey. On Instagram, I am Sean Ryan Peterson. That is S-E-A-N-R-Y-A-N, Peter S-E-N. And tomorrow, March 30th at 9.30, the first four episodes of Victor and Valentino. Be sure to tune in. <laughs> Can you give us a little, uh, a little voice? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Victor, please don't touch that evil looking thing. <laughs> oh, wow. You heard it here on Good Morning La La Land. Don't touch that evil looking thing. And stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning La La Land.